On Sunday, whilst the city was being turned into a swamp, I met up with Rod, who runs a radio show called Fuzzy Logic, and Tom, who studies nuclear fusion. We had a chat over coffee to decide what we wanted to talk about on air, and once we got to the studio, I asked Rod to show me how things work behind the scenes. The, the operation of the console is fairly basic. You have all these inputs, so I play a CD, and I pop one in the thing over there, and then I press that button, and there's nothing in it, so I can cue it up like that, turn it on, and our guest microphones and my microphone, those buttons there, turn the lights on, and I oh, was just talking over the top of live radio. Oops, <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> I've got the levels down. Uh, and basically you're just juggling all the inputs, playing them as, uh, as you need to. You've you got to understand the science, know what to ask next, next and do all this. And that's right, that's why I say it's like driving a car. When, yeah. you, when you start driving a car, you know, you're all the time, you're thinking clutch, steering wheel, what's this lever doing? And then there's that car over there, the person's talking to you, the radio is going. A lot of information yeah. coming in and you're synthesizing, you're digesting all that and... Well, I hope you haven't had any crashes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like one of my bicycle yesterday. Yeah. First, let's have a look at plants. Now, uh, Toby, what is a physicist doing researching plants? Exactly. So, I am a physicist and it's funny because before I worked on plants, I was actually doing astronomy research. But there are some fundamental questions in the nature of um, plant science and biophysics that a physicist can actually contribute to. I'm looking at how plants protect themselves from diseases. So plant diseases are caused by something uh, called, called a pathogen. A pathogen is an organism that latches on to a plant cell and then starts to tunnel through the cell wall and wreak havoc and cause disease. And I'm thinking like a castle wall, you know, you've got the invaders outside, you've, you've got the people on the inside tipping buckets of oil on them, they're manning the buttresses and they're fending them off and the, while well, the invaders are trying to get inside. Now, what does a plant do? You've got, you've got these uh, bugs, these are all uh, pathogens, yeah. as you call them. Well, the castle is actually a good analogy for the cell wall. Uh, so plant cells have this very rigid structure around the outside, and that is to um, act as a gatekeeper, really, to keep out uh, bad things from the cell, things like a pathogen, and to let through good things like nutrients and, and water and, and to allow uh, the life to continue within the cell. So when a pathogen is trying to attack a plant cell, the cell wall or the castle actually has a few defences to keep it out and to keep the cell safe. 